Okay, folks, we're at the range today with my Ruger Mark III Target 22 long rifle. Um, about a year and a half or so ago, I bought this little two power Barska scope. And, uh, uh, you know, I was, thought, what the heck, I'm put it on top of this thing and see what kind of accuracy potential I can get out of it. It's only 40 bucks. I figured what the heck is worth, worth the risk. <laughs> As it turns out, it's a pretty darn nice scope. Um, it's The optical quality isn't bad. And the turret adjustment is repeatable and returns to zero in this thing. So it's a pretty, pretty nice little system. Um, and about a couple of weeks ago, I noticed they had the NCR, NC Star bipod on sale, and I needed another um, uh, BR bipod, so I figured, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the thing. Well, as it turns out, it comes with all this hardware, and I was going to throw it all away, and, I, and then I took a look at this Mark III target and thought, well, maybe it'll fit in between that uh, front sight and the scope base, front of the scope base. So I thought, what the heck, give it a try, and sure enough, it works pretty good. And then when I actually had the scope out off, so I put it back on again, it, it looked pretty good. I figured, what the heck, not try, well, why not try the long range, see what, see what can be accomplished. So what I did was, when I reserved this thing at 50 yards, what I do when I zero my optics is I use my reticle to measure the compensation that I need. It's just a lot faster for me and um, you know it, it probably and it's also saves me bullets I, I figure. As it turns out this uh, reticle is a, is, a, is a plex reticle system and if I can get you on the uh, target I actually have out here it looks like it's pretty close to being there. And uh, so what I did was I measured that plex reticle, the plex post tips, the uh, um, subtension on them there's a subtension of them at 100 yards. I actually measured it at 50 yards and just doubled it because I want to find out what the minute of angle was. And it turns out it was about 7 inches at 50 yards or 14 minutes of angle. So what I did was, was when, I, when I went ahead and zeroed this, I noticed that the, the impact uh, at 50 yards, um, after I checked it with a Bushnell bore sighter, the impact at 50 yards was, um, was right at the plex post tip high and left. And so that's about 15 minutes of angle. So what I did was I went ahead and adjusted 15 inches down and 15 inches right. And sure enough, it was almost dead center on, the, on that 50-yard target after that in the next shot. It just took a click or two to get it exactly where I needed it. So uh, using the reticle to measure um, um, compensation sometimes is a good way to go. And it's certainly worked pretty good with this rig. Now, one of the things I like about these uh, pistol scopes on these things, these little low power pistol scopes, two power, is they have like 80 to 100 minutes of angle of turret adjustment in them. And as it turns out, with this little BSA, I was taking a look at that turret, and it's a finger adjustable type, so it's be really reasonably easy to crank this thing up and down. You know, don't need a coin, you can do it with your fingers. And it's, and it's graduated on the top, it's a half minute system, half inch per 100 yard system. So I thought, well, you know, why not, why not calculate long range zeros with it and see how well uh, I can, I, I, we'll see what I can do at long range with it, with this thing using the turret for compensation. So what I did was once I zeroed at 50 yards, I put uh, a little mark. Uh, you can see the red mark there on that um, uh, upper part of that spindle, and it is marked off in two inch. It's it's actually a half minute system with each click, and all four of those uh, make the bigger make two of the bigger hash marks which is two minutes or two inch per hundred yards or you know close to two inch per hundred yards so anyway I took a look at it and I made up a generic dope sheet with this thing figuring about 1200 feet per second on the average for some of this uh, ammo that I shoot I just got the federal junk stuff that I'm shooting right now value pack and uh, it's shooting pretty good actually I shot about an inch group at 50 yards with this thing once I got it all, all zeroed and all so what I did was I ran this uh, generic dope sheet for 1200 feet per second for a ballistic coefficient about 0.1 for the average 22 rimfire um, higher velocity stuff and what I saw was uh, at 160 yards which is where I've got this target set up it's going to require about 17 minutes of angle of trajectory compensation or so to get to that range so all we got to do is really once it's zeroed, which this uh, turret already is, like I mentioned, is run 16 minutes of angle, of, or um, uh, 17 minutes of angle of trajectory compensation into it. So that should be um, 17 minutes of angle is going to be eight of the big clicks, eight and a half big cl of those bigger clicks. That's one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get closer to here. Five, 
six, seven, eight, about eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Um, trajectory compens compensator. Um, 17 minutes, close to 17 minutes of angle trajectory compensation. So let's go ahead and give it a shot, try and see how well we can do. Sorry for jumping this around, it's hard to pause. I can't really pause this thing too well before it starts all over again. Okay, there we go, 160 yards. Okay, let's see what we can accomplish with this thing. six seven mile an hour wind coming from about uh, five o'clock or so so i'm going to aim a little bit to the right side jump just off the plate Let's see what we can do here See, we got a few hits on it at 160 yards, and uh, you know, it's not bad for a little two power scope uh, shooting a 22 rimfire, I think. And it's about 17 minutes of angle. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and re zero to 50 yards and just see how well that, that zero is back up again. So, let's put you on the 50 yard target, show you how repeatable this little BSA is when it comes to a, to, to a little tar or a turret. See if I can get close to the center on the first shot there. I think I'm about out. And I am. Let's go to the A couple shots. Okay, let's try 50 yards here real quick. Let's go ahead and re-zero. Gotta make sure we do that. I like to load the spring on these target turrets as the last adjustment. <laughs> it's a good way to do it. Okay, let's see. 50 yards, here we go. Right in there. Try one more to make sure. Looks good. That's it. Okay, and I guess that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.